Hi, I'm CJ Marland. I'm here to teach you how to math. My can has math? Get out, Mike. But it's my house. It doesn't matter, get out. Out, now, go on, get out. Five minutes. We first need to understand the numbers. We know that there are over 500,000 of them, but we can't be sure if there are many more. All you need to know to start off with are the five basic numbers. The first basic numbers are one and two, and you can figure out the rest on your own. Yes. I'll give you a hint. The third basic number is cheese. So now that we know the basic numbers, we're gonna learn what we're gonna do with them. We're gonna start with addition. Addition is what happens when you take two numbers and you smoosh them together. Like these bottles! Now you'll notice that that addition didn't quite work. I couldn't quite smoosh those two bottles together. There's a very good reason for that. This bottle is a slightly different design to this one. So they won't work. But what we can do is we can take these two notebooks here and we can smoosh them together. And thus we form a super notebook. I literally cannot get these apart now. But what happens if we want to keep doing addition? We want to keep repeating that addition operation. We have a shortcut in mathematics, it's called multiplication. <coughs> multiplication is when you smoosh things together over and over and over again. So, instead of adding two bottles to get two bottles, we can do it twice or three times. For example, if we want to take two bottles and two bottles and add them together, we're going to get... David! Get out. Get out. Go. Get out. Four bottles! So now we know addition and multiplication. Let's talk about subtraction. Subtraction is a little bit like addition, except instead of smooshing things together, we're going to rip them apart. Like this piece of paper. We're going to subtract it. And again, and again, and again, and again. See how easy subtraction is? That was my maths homework. So if subtraction is the opposite of addition, then division is the opposite of multiplication. You already saw how difficult multiplication was. I'm going to do this division thing here, but you're not going to try and replicate it. Otherwise the universe might explode. Trust me, I know I've been responsible for ending the universe several times. For which I greatly apologise. Division. So now we're going to learn one more basic function of mathematics. The square root. Ding dong. The square root is a fairly standard mathematical operation and is useful in many applications, like calculus or eating biscuits. So here is how to do a square root. As you can see, I've done this before. Hey, CJ. Hey. So here are the guys doing math? Yep, I'm doing math. Oh, that kind of man. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. You want any food? Dunno. Ask Mike. And there, we have our square. Now, um... Hey, Ma... I'm gonna need your help with this one. And of course, trees have roots. And that is our square root. So now we've covered all five of the basic mathematical operations. Addition, division, multiplication, subtraction, and the square root. We've also learned what the five basic numbers are. Next session, we're going to learn calculus, geometry, trigonometry, and how to use this mathematical machine. <laughs> oh, three, four, one, four, one, five, nine. Oh. so pure. Exponential. Oh, yeah. I've only ever done physics before. Warning. Math is addictive. Do not try it at home.